Okay, our next speaker is Dr. Meredith Boster. Boster. <laughs> Remember, because she's the boss. She's the group leader at the Genomics Laboratory at DHMRI. And she's going to be telling uh, you a little bit of a virtual lab tour of uh, what we have available in the Genomics Lab. Thank you. Thanks, Sabrina. Sorry, what number do I okay, okay. Can you slide the user back? Okay. Other side so we can actually do it. Do it right here. Okay, thanks. Okay, great. Hope everybody can hear me. Um, thank you for the introduction. Like uh, Sabrina said, I'm the group leader for the genomics lab at the David H. Murdoch Research Institute. The David H. Murdoch Research Institute is part of the North Carolina Research Campus. The NCRC is a collaborative environment here in Kannapolis that brings together scientists from academic institutions, industry partners, and non-for-profit organizations. The DHMRI is located at, in the $100 million state-of-the-art core laboratory building. The DHMRI is a contract research organization, and we have cutting-edge technology in genomics, bioinformatics, analytical sciences, and in vitro sciences. The DHMRI genomics laboratory processes um, all types of samples for genomics analysis, plants, animals, and human samples. We look at both DHMRI. DNA and RNA, <coughs> excuse me, DNA being the genetic instructions of all living organisms, and RNA, which we use to look at gene expression, both of which enables us to look at genetic variation between individuals and help us to understand disease progression. Simon actually did a pretty good job of going over this already, but um, I just wanted to give you an idea of where uh, genomics is interested in the scope of um, biological research. We have our DNA which is made up of uh, four nucleotide bases, which are usually represented by letters, A, G, C, T. Uh, genes that are encoded in the DNA are transcribed to RNA. RNA is translated to protein. And um, use, looking at proteins and interactions between proteins, we can determine function and further understand diseases like MS. In the genomics laboratory, we are primarily interested in DNA and RNA. When we get a sample, a primary sample at the uh, genomics laboratory, the first thing we do is extraction. We extract both DNA and RNA from samples, such as the ones we get from the Murdoch study, like the blood samples shown here. And then we perform genetic analysis, which starts with quality and quantity um, assays to understand, to make sure that we have a good quality sample. For the MS research projects, we have so far extracted DNA from 777 samples and RNA from 987 samples. One of the things we do in the genomics laboratory is use microarrays to analyze DNA and RNA. In this particular example, we're looking at genetic variants. And what we're doing is shown right here is what's known as a SNP, a single nucleotide polymorphism, where there's a one single base change in the DNA sequence. In order to assay these, we uh, take the DNA and load them on microarrays shown um, in the top right corner. And uh, these microarrays are about the size of a quarter, but they can hold 384 samples at a time. The microarrays are assayed on the uh, sequino macerate instrument shown here. And then we get data that looks something like this, where we can assay genotypes from um, all the samples. And in this particular example, we were able to assay 24 MS-related variants on a total of 987 DNA samples. We can also use microarrays to assay RNA. We take the RNA and load it on these microarrays shown here. These microarrays are assayed using the Illumina iScan instrumentation. And we are able to look at differences in gene expression, which is shown in the panel at the bottom. This is a heat map, which we use to look at gene expression. And we can do this across a total of 34,000 genes on a, on a single array. And in this case, we looked at differential gene expression between MS patients and healthy controls. The pride of the uh, DHMRI Genomics Laboratory is our next generation sequencing capabilities. Using next generation sequencing, we can look at the actual sequence of the DNAs and the RNAs on a whole genome scale. We have two Illumina HiSeq 2500 instruments, and we can load um, up to two flow cells, which are shown here. Each flow cell has eight lanes, and from a single flow cell, we can generate 400 gigabases. Uh, per flow cell, which is equivalent to 400 billion nucleotide bases of data. 
To give you uh, a, an a understanding of the scope, the human genome is about three gigabases. So we can do a, an awful lot of sequencing on just one flow cell for th with these instruments. To date, we have done RNA-seq experiments on this instrument. Um, we have done sequencing from RNA from 24 CSF samples and 24 blood samples for MS re research. The, D the projects I've just described to you involving the MS research culminate a total of $90,000 worth of research that we've done for the MS projects that Dr. Gregory has described. And this can only, could only have been done, uh, I'm sorry, could not have been done without the generous contribution from Mr. Herman Stone and his family. And we'd like to thank you for that. And also we'd like to thank the participants for contributing to this very important research. Thank you.